Hello, my name's Brian Atkinson and welcome to UK Aircraft Explored. We shall start this new series of videos with the Mark V variant of the legendary Supermarine Spitfire. By the end of 1940, the Royal Air Force knew there was a very real chance that they may have to go through the same struggles of the Battle of Britain yet again during the summer of 1941 most likely against improved new versions of Luftwaffe fighters and bombers. In order to counter this threat, the Spitfire Mark V was developed, which was basically a Spitfire Mark I or II airframe with a strengthened engine mounting structure to support the more powerful Rolls-Royce Merlin 45 engine. The implementation of various wing and armament configurations were also developed. The Mark V first entered service with 92 Squadron based at Biggin Hill in Kent during February of 1941 and it took part in the first fighter sweeps and bomber support sorties over Belgium and France. By the end of 1941 the Spitfire Mark V served with most of Fighter Command's day fighter squadrons and went on to serve in the Middle East Theatre of Operations with the development of the tropicalised version. However, the Focke 190 fighter entered service with the Luftwaffe in 1941 and was found to be superior in performance over the Spitfire Mark V. Many attempts were made to modify and improve the Mark V's operational specifications, including the introduction of the clipped wing variant. However, the Spitfire Mark V served with distinction throughout the war and with many air forces and with around 6,464 aircraft manufactured was the most numerous Spitfire variant produced. Moving on, here is an extract from the 1942 Air Ministry Manual. It's an overview that offered wartime ground crews an introduction to the Spitfire Mark V. The Spitfire 5A, B and C are single-seater fighter, low-wing monoplanes powered by a Rolls-Royce Merlin 45, 46, 50 or 50A engine driving a constant speed propeller, either the de Havilland 20 degree pitch range or Rotol 35 degree pitch range. A low flying version of each type is powered by a Merlin 45M, 50M or 55M and is known as LF for low flying, 5A, B and C. The Spitfire 5A and B differed only in armament, the change being occasioned by different main planes. The Spitfire 5A has eight Browning .303 inch guns which are housed in the main planes and fire through tubes in the leading edge. The 5B's armament however consists of four Browning .303 inch guns and two Hispano 20mm guns. The Spitfire 5C variant has a universal main plane which can accommodate any one of three arrangements of armament as follows. Eight Browning .303 inch guns, four Hispano 20mm Mark I or II guns, or two Hispano 20mm Mark I or Mark II guns, and four Browning .303 inch guns. We will cover more on this subject in later videos. Moving on, the Spitfire 5's fuselage is of stress skin construction and consists of four main longerons, frames of either hoop or U-shape and all clad plating stiffened between the frames by intercostals. The tail fin is an integral part of the tail end of the fuselage. The tail plane is also of stress skin construction 
but the elevators, rudder and ailerons are of metal construction with fabric covering. The main planes are of single spar stress skin construction with a light auxiliary spar and have all clad and duraluminium sheet covering. Split trailing edge flaps are fitted between the inboard ends of the ailerons and the fuselage sides. The alighting gear consists of two separate retractable undercarriage units and a non-retractable tailwheel unit. The undercarriage units retract upwards and outwards into recesses in the undersurface of the main planes. Pneumatic wheel brakes and oleopneumatic shock absorbers struts are fitted. The flying controls are of conventional type and the rudder pedals have two positions for the feet and are adjustable horizontally for leg reach. The control column and rudder bar are connected to the control surfaces by cables. Trimming tabs, controllable from the cockpit, are fitted on the rudder and elevator, but not on the ailerons. The Rolls-Royce Merlin engine is mounted on a tubular structure attached to the fuselage front spar frame. Two main fuel tanks, one above the other, are mounted in the fuselage forward of the cockpit. The oil tank is slung below the engine crankcase and two oil coolers arranged one behind the other are mounted on the underside of the port main plane. A long range fuel tank of 30 or 90 gallons capacity can be carried beneath the fuselage and jettisoned when empty. For extreme range, a 170 gallon fuel tank can be carried beneath the fuselage and a 29 gallon fuel tank carried inside the fuselage behind the pilot. The hydraulic system for raising and lowering the undercarriage is operated by an engine driven pump. Compressed air for the pneumatic system is supplied by an engine driven compressor and two storage cylinders and operates the trailing edge flaps, the gun firing mechanism, the camera gun operating mechanism and in early aircraft the lowering and raising of the landing lamps. The electrical installation includes all the usual lighting and heating services in addition to the radio and derives its power from a 750 watt engine driven generator charging a 12 volt 40 amp hour accumulator. The radio installation includes general purpose IFF that's identification friend or foe and beam approach. Well I hope you found this video interesting. Please remember we have many more videos lined up for you covering many interesting aspects of the Spitfire Mark V. Please click the free subscribe button below and like to get notification when future videos are posted. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.